this presentation I've done a lot of research into Adidas and how sportswear became the fashion staple it is today. This led to me creating an interesting set of insights which was summed up in my proposition. The purpose of this is to have a deeper understanding of the context behind sportswear so I'm able to successfully launch a new lead city shoe for Adidas. I will be exploring how sportswear moved from being worn exclusively on the field to becoming a huge part of the fashion world. Trainers are a huge part of sportswear and were initially designed for the market to help athletes perform better. The basic need for the trainer hasn't changed but they now often need to look beautiful too. Trainers are seen all over TV and online but they weren't always this popular. There were many different catalysts that caused their popularity along with a variety of different subgenres that adopted the trainer as their footwear of choice. However, there is one subgenre in particular that really stood out and it started in 1970s Britain, around the time Liverpool made it to the finals of the European Cup. They were called the Casuals and began attracting attention when Liverpool fans followed their team across Europe. They were known for their violence, but they were about much more. Music, fashion and friendship were at the heart of the Casuals and many of these attributes they adopted from the mods and skinheads of the 60s. During the 1970s, there were huge economical crashes. This fueled the aggression towards the establishment and many came from working class families, similar to the mods and rockers that came before them. This resulted in a lot of fighting, especially between rival teams. But soon these fights began attracting attention of the police at matches. The skinheads that, attracted, that attended football matches previously started to get their steel toe capped Doc Martin boots taken away as a safety measure. Skinhead fashion was always heavily working class and police now have had an easily recognisable target for the trouble at football. This led to a new style with the casuals. The group started to get creative and quickly began wearing a multitude of different designer clothing and sportswear. This allowed rival clubs to sneak into bars and start fights. These caused many issues for the football teams themselves in the long run. Although the violence was nothing to celebrate, the casual loyalty was next to nothing. Due to the bad economy in the 70s, many fans travelled by coach during the cup, so they were able to save some money. Travelling by coach meant they could carry a lot more with them, so they often brought empty bags so they could steal things on their travels. Sports shops were easy targets, and many of the bright colours and styles were never seen before in Britain. Fans would storm the shops and display showing trainers in pairs made it easy for them to dash in and out on court so they could bring back huge hauls of clothing home. Many sold the items they stole but many also wore the clothing as a badge of honour that showed other fans and rival teams how they travelled all the way across Europe in order to support their team. Liverpool weren't the only club to partake in casual culture. Leeds United had a large fan base and soon the Leeds United service crew was formed and is named after the public service trains they would travel on to away matches. The service crew are one of the most notorious hooliganism firms in history and reported to be amongst the worst five hooliganism clubs in history. Football is embedded into the culture of Leeds, with Ellen Road being their home stadium. A range of pubs across Leeds have become popular with the fans and play a huge part. Many of the supporters collect a range of Different memorabilia from the team to show their support. A LUFC fan is instantly recognisable as the blue, yellow and white colours worn. The casuals took inspiration from the mods of the 70s and the mods took inspiration from the teddy boys of the 50s. Towards the end of the 80s, casual culture began to fade out and the use of psychedelics and ecstasy was on the rise. Acid house and rave culture was born and this subculture moved away from all the violence and instead brought people together. Adidas was a big part of rave and the trainers and tracksuits allowed them to stay comfortable while dancing. Ravers were well known for their bright colours and obscure accessories, and many young people began customising their own Adidas, fitting with the wacky attire. Many people still customise their trainers today, and some even sell for thousands. The fashion trend stuck, and can be seen across many different subcultures within Britain, such as indie rockers, grime and hip-hop. As a result of the trainers' rise in popularity, Adidas created the City Series, Celebration of each city shown by creating fashionable trainer in the city's colours. This became very popular and were a way of showing your loyalty to your city. Adidas has always been the main brand when it came to football, but the brand itself attracted mass attention in the 70s and 80s from different areas of popular culture, and even had a song written about them by Run DMC. The Adidas tracksuit became a big seller, and what started as the football casual's favourite 
soon adopted by a whole range of groups across the UK. Many of the people involved with the casuals were working class and viewed the times they were part of the group as fond memories. Even the fans that were too young to join in with the casuals still remember the attention they brought and often wanted to be a part of it. That is why I am aiming my campaign towards male football fans aged 45 to 50 who remember the era but never got to contribute. I'm going to focus on the spirit of the casual culture but not the violent aspects of it. The loyalty of the football fans is impeccable and I want to transfer this onto Adidas and encourage Leeds United fans to purchase the shoe. Some men within the age range were trainers but not as many as millennials so I aim to convert those people and show them that the trainer is part of much more. I've generated insights such as many groups at the time aimed to divert from social norms which created a variety of styles. The casuals began wearing sportswear from abroad so they could show their loyalty to the team and remain undistinguishable. The bad economy of the 70s also led to much more violent subcultures, but it was not their main focus. My proposition for this project is We Are Leeds. This sums up my research, best insights and the benefits of the casual culture. I feel that any ideas that stem from this will appeal to my target audience and encourage them to unite as people who love Leeds and want to show their passion by purchasing the shoe. I feel like I have made some meaningful discoveries through my research on how sportswear became fashionable. I've chosen to continue with the theme of football and casuals as I feel like it is still largely embedded in the culture of Leeds. By uniting the brand and football club, it would encourage more people in Generation X to start wearing Adidas.